Good morning, Calvary. Thanks for tuning in for your word for the day today. My name is Robert. Grateful to have you watching today. As you are, are hanging out with family or friends or maybe you're visiting loved ones and you're leaving, what, it, what are the words that you leave with? What are those parting statements that you make? Because typically the, the thing we say last, whether it's in departing our family members that are visiting or maybe at the end of an argument with someone that we're close to, that last word is usually the thing that we want to, to leave standing, we want to have as significance. Uh, and throughout history, we've, we've kind of come to this realization that even on the deathbed, those last words carry significance. There's, there's thoughtfulness of, I have limited time left. I have the limited ability to speak throughout the future. What do I want to say? And as we look at scripture, as Jesus uh, goes to the cross to, to suffer and die for our sins, he's hanging there and we see that there's seven statements that he makes from the cross. I'm not going to go through all of them, but I want to zero in on the last one. In Luke chapter 23, we see uh, verse 46. It says, Then Jesus, calling out with a loud voice, says, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. And having said this, he breathed his last. Now, if you've been following along with uh, Word for the Day series, you might be wondering why I'm in the book of Luke, um, because our Luke series was our sermon series for 2022. That has ended, and we're going through the book of Psalms here of your Word for the Day. And so you might be wondering what I'm doing and if I've forgotten things. But I share with you the final statement of Jesus, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit, to lead us to Psalm 31, our psalm for today. In Psalm 31, Five says this, says, into your hand, I commit my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord, faithful God. See, uh, there's an incredible significance of understanding how the Bible connects at certain points that this statement of Jesus on the cross, the very last words he spoke before dying on the cross to pay for our sins, wasn't just a random thought he had. It wasn't a coincidence either. It was a carefully thought out quote from uh, Psalm 31, verse 5 here. And in that moment, Jesus modeled a lot for us. He modeled the significance of fully trusting God's plan for his life and fully submitting. Even though the night before in the Garden of Gethsemane, he was wrestling with that and praying and asking God, is there any other way besides the path of the cross? He trusted God and submit to that plan and that path for his life. He submit his life into the hands of his Father. And today, my question for you is, are you submitting your life, your plans, your direction into the hands of your heavenly father? Because it's so easy to say, well, God, I follow you. I love you. I trust you. But I want to do things my way in this area. God, I, I love you and trust you. I want to follow you. But, but I want to I make my own decisions here. I want to manage my finances the way I want. I want to do relationships how I want. I want my sexuality to be this way. I want my, my decisions, my words, my actions this way. I want to handle my career this way. And that's not really what God's asking us to do. He's asking us to fully trust him and fully surrender all of our life to him and say, Father, into your hands, I commit my spirit, I commit my life, I commit every aspect of it, and I'm willing to follow you. We wouldn't be here as followers of Jesus if Jesus didn't do that on the cross, if he didn't say, I am willing to do whatever you're calling me to do. We're here today because Jesus did that, and he did that so that we could be forgiven and saved, but he also did that to model for us how we're to interact with our Heavenly Father. So today I pray that you would examine your life. Where are those places where you're still trying to hold on? Where, where you're not saying into your hands I commit my spirit, but you're saying into my hands I commit this area of my life. And I pray that you'd be willing to surrender and give that up to God and make that same statement that Jesus made into your hands I commit my spirit, Father. I hope that you have a great day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.